Hi, paper craft friends. Welcome to DebStamppad.com and welcome to this quick video on how to use the Stampin' Up! wheels. First off, you need a handle and a ink cartridge and a wheel. Now, the ink cartridge comes empty and so you can refill it with the Stampin' Up! refills and um, add any color you'd like in there. And basically, you just squeeze the ink right onto that sponge wheel in there and fill it up till it's nice and juicy. This cartridge then can be placed right into the handle. A little trick to tell you if you only have one cartridge, you can also store your cartridge in your handle, just like so, and put the little door on to help it keep from drying out. But since we're going to use this, I'm going to remove that little door. You don't want to lose that. And then I'm going to add the wheel to the handle. Now, I am a right-handed, and so I roll with my right hand. And when I do roll with my right hand, I want to make sure that my words are upright to the way I can read them. And so generally what I'll do is I'll check my image and make sure that it's right. And then I'll take my handle and place it over my wheel and then snap it in place. That way, when I turn my handle over and I go to wheel, I know that my image is going to be um, the right direction. Then you can also, after you've done that, you're going to push the cartridge forward so it's touching your wheel. Then on some scrap paper, you're going to start that ink onto that wheel. And I usually give it a couple of passes to make sure that the ink has covered the wheel all the way around. So then, because I'm right-handed, I usually start on my left-hand side of my paper, and I will watch where this edge of the wheel will meet the paper. You start off of the paper, roll onto the paper slowly, roll off the paper. And as I'm watching this edge, I'm watching it with the last image that I just rolled. And a slow roll is better than a fast roll. And I also tend to put my finger um, on the back of the handle to kind of steady it because you want it flat on your work surface. You don't want to do any rocking and rolling with it. And then you just continue to roll your inked image all the way across your paper, just like so. It goes super quick. It's very fun and easy. You can do paper bags, you can do your 12 by 12 scrapbook papers, you can do card backgrounds, you can wheel on anything that's flat and basically not moving. And there you have it. This great 8.5 by 11 background beautiful paper. Come back again and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this great paper. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.